<coughs> what is up, Rap Potential YouTube? Welcome to today's video. Another monumental change for the rally car. And as you can see, it legit moved from like right back there to right up here since the last video. So don't want to apologize. I apologize for not, you know, cranking on the car the last few weeks, but it's going to be hard for you to see, and I'll show you tomorrow after the rainstorm. The driveway is fixed. 100% Corvette proof now. Get my Corvette down and out, and that is key to me enjoying the week. Got to be able to drive your Corvette to work. That way we can have fun and just get in and out of the driveway. So with all that being fixed now, we're going to put stickers on this rally car. And remember, at the end of the last video, we got the car running after a long, hard-fought weekend, figuring out fuel injection turned out to be stupid injector harness. And right now, I haven't, you know, radiator still leaking, no fan, no nothing. We got to wash it. So we're going to see if it starts. Figured we didn't want to let myself down in the other video that it wouldn't restart. So now let's see if it just fires right up. I am going to, however, hook the fuel pump up the factory way because that's how it should be so new to rx7 people i had my fuel pump jumpered right here just to uh like straight to the battery so that i could start the car we don't need that anymore we're gonna hook the fuel pump back up to the factory wiring and we're gonna see if the car starts because rotary because 40 year old fuel injection so start procedure big key on little key on make sure it's in neutral 16 times clutch pedal feels funny but we're gonna roll with it okay moment of truth We knew it was going to start the whole time, right? Guys. Alright guys, we've got stickers on stickers on stickers. So, uh, my graphics design printer thing. Who helps me out with this stuff. Can only do so big, so the Tokiko stickers are in multiple sheets. We got the Hello Light stickers. We got the SCCA Pro Rally banner, the OG Original one for the year of the car. Thank you to the guy um, in the history, SCCA Pro Rally History, who got me a picture and the dimensions of this so I could have Terry recreate it. I'm replacing all of the Panasport stickers on the car because I don't have Panasports on the car. And it's just a tribute with Rad Potential stickers. We've got the BF Goodrich stickers. We've got my own little idea is uh in the original Millen car they had four wheel drive stickers in the tops of the window here and on that side and then they also had the four wheel drive sticker i believe right here 
Well, I wanted to recreate the sticker, but my car is not four-wheel drive. My car is real wheel drive. So this is real wheel drive, two-wheel drive stickers to go on it in ish the same color blue. And then we've got, of course, the large Mazda branding, um, which goes here. So, get stoked. We're putting stickers on. Starting with, um, just like the banana, I had the banana right here above the door. And I can't, you know, in my right mind, put this car together and not have something say that it's a fake. Because... I don't want anybody to ever assume that this one is the real Millen car. The real Millen car is with Rod Millen at his ranch. And that's the only real one. This is just a tribute to that car. So I had a little signature made up. It says Millen Tribute. And that's going to ride right here on top of the door. And that's just me saying, hey, it's not the real one. But it's about, oh, besides not being all wheel drive, it's almost as close as a liver as you can get. And uh, hopefully somebody gets this thing and rips it just as hard as I do. So I am going to bust these out in the next night. And I'm hoping, planning, I'm going to take this car to Nashville Cars and Coffee this weekend um, with the graphics on it. So it won't be like 100% complete. I'm going to trailer it there. But I do have the registration up to date. Um, my license plate for it's in the in the Jeep. Got to put that on because, yes, rally cars are street legal. They have to be. And uh, I'm going to do a quick little alignment on it and then throw it on the trailer and take it up to the car show. See, see how many necks we can break. So let's get to stickering. sticker and then this side is good to go. Baby that red looks so good. looks so good now it's the car it was needed to be it, yes yes so good apologize for my movie going in the background holy cow dang it's like the real cars in my garage, guys. So I got to do some trimming here around the gas tank door. The factory, or I said the factory. The Millen car, the original one, fun fact, the fuel door was actually in the B-pillar right here. They took the stock door out and put it up here, and then that fed a fuel cell that lived between the rear wheel arches so effectively where your two plus two seat would have been is where the mill and fuel cell was so that's that that's that i know one of the guys in new zealand and actually i've actually handled the fuel cell because i transported the fuel cell from i don't know where did i pick it up at my cali's gonna know anyways i picked it up from somewhere in arkansas or whatever and i drove it to somewhere in omaha or in uh nebraska oklahoma yeah, I picked it up and drove it to Oklahoma on my way to Arkansas one day. 
and da -da 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 -da. it's kind of a yeah anyways but i had that fuel cell because i also had the original seats from one of the milling cars here so get stoked which i'll tell all that story when i tell you the big story about the car but dang guys looks so good look at it on my phone Great success. My BF Goodrich sticker that I had made is too big. So this is the one I had made. It uh, is a little bit too long to fit exactly where I want it. And it's not supposed to be like a title massive sponsor like the Tokiko sticker. And I feel like I just need to scale this down like 80%. So I'm going to have that done and we'll put it back on. It's good that I don't have one of them. The other BFG sticker, the white one, is actually not how it was originally. But... On the original milling car, the lower valence was white. I painted mine black because it's going to get beat up. White paint gets really beat up. Dirty, nasty. So that one's black. So I had a white BFG sticker made, and that actually goes on the valence down there, which I think you can see in this picture if I pan over. Look at that. BF Goodrich. So I need to get those made smaller. I still need to find some NGK stickers. No big deal. And I want to get that SCCA club sticker for the window. But there's the four-wheel drive. I need to get my red out and do the red pinstripe and put a Mazda banner on the windshield. Put that, and I'm pretty sure this says like Rod Millen or Ra Rod Millen Racing or something there. Hella sticker on the front I gotta do. Man, we're getting so close. Getting so close. It's it for tonight. It looks insane in the brain. And I couldn't be happier. And I do have the RX-7 badges to go back on it. So... came out it is literally like looking at the real car in my garage now it's a race car and it's not the most perfect deal here okay don't it's, it's a good thing that you can't see both sides you know at the same time but everything should be exactly pretty much where it is on the original milling car um i think like after putting some stuff on some of my stickers might not be the perfect size, but hey, it's it's what it is. I also love, I took some white vinyl and uh, outlined this background. So the original Panasport stickers were on a white background. I might have already mentioned that, but I replaced all those with Rat Potential stickers so you can still see it. Pretty stoked on how that came out. Same thing, would have been a Panasport sticker there. So it's Rad Potential. BF Goodrich stickers, I got them resized, so that one's nice and small. Just a little bit long on the old ones. I still haven't put the one down at the bottom, but I think I'm going to do that once I get it on the trailer and get to strapping it down. Um, and then I am super stoked with how these came out. So, the original Millen car, not every iteration of it had the red stripes. They're like, re uh, excuse me, the red accent stripes on the windows. But, uh... The one where the car is just like full drift through the corner with the gold Panasports on it. That one did have it. And I like that picture. And I don't know why they got removed in other pictures. And I think some of the other pictures of like Rod's RX-7s um, were of previous years. So like the 82 RX-7 still had a very similar livery to this. Um, but it was just the two-wheel drive car. So like you've got to kind of... Be a little careful, I guess, when you're looking at Rod Millen's RX-7s, you got to be careful to pick out the all-wheel drive ones. And the all-wheel drive one, I know, had, when you had the all-wheel drive sticker here, had the stripes, so I did that. And I guess, too, a thing for you guys to note, um, the two-wheel drive, I believe it's 81 or 82 car, um, was actually here in the States for a while, and it was lime green, and then it got sold to a guy 
in New Zealand, um, which is how I was a part of like getting the parts from that car to that guy. And that car, just the two wheel drive version, the, uh, the gas filler door was here. And then the all wheel drive car, the gas filler door was here. So little nuance of the original Millen cars. Um, I do think he, like I said, he had Panda Sports on all of them. Um, the two wheel drive car would have said high tech radials right here instead of good BF Goodrich. Um, and then also the two wheel drive car or the earlier ones just said SCCA and then his number. Um, they didn't have that SCCA pro rally heading there. So guys, I'm so stoked. How's this turning out? And we're going to load this thing up right now. We're taking it to cars and coffee. And I just told my buddy, he was like, well, I guess the car has been running for you. If, uh, if it's clean because you washed it and yes it did start it did run as you saw we we washed it but i also responded to his message that uh i'm not pushing this on the trailer so if it doesn't start and drive on the trailer here like right now then uh maybe i'll troubleshoot it but i probably won't take it to garza coffee the last thing too so i have to put the windshield trim on how about these brand new door seals look at that brand new ordered them from some website online never heard of the website before 80 bucks shipped fit right nice good solid pretty stoked i do have to clean the interior real quick and i think i may throw the uh just because they're super easy the little door sill things on because they'll they'll look nice so i'm gonna get that that and that done we're gonna load this on the trailer we're going to cars coffee get stoked <laughs> He was sick and I'm officially the last one here I've been hanging out with this dirt track guy that's got his old dad's 34 Ford rally car starting and I'm stoked it's on the trailer sounded like it should so I still got the old radiator in it and uh don't really want to run it for too long but uh I didn't film too much while I was here at Cars and Coffee because I spent most of the time talking to people and I was stoked to talk to people about the car, show them the car, explain the whole mill and stuff and this, that, and the other. So, man, I'm just so excited. This thing is it's getting so much closer to being ready to go. Window trim, a few other things, but for now, I'm gonna strap this beast down. We're gonna go back to the shop and uh, we're gonna tinker on this thing some more because there's always something to do. Well, you can see how clean we can get this with dry blasting, with vapor blasting, with. All right, guys, back at the ranch, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it straight with you. I tried to take this windshield trim off my silver car, and I broke every single clip on the right side, the driver's side. I broke a few of these, which is, you know, you're kind of going to break them. 
when you take your trim off. At least I haven't figured out a way. I had six tries and I only got one of them off reasonably well. So I'll show you guys when I put it back on. Uh, most likely not in this video, but I'll make a video dedicated to putting your windshield trim on. Um, but that is the title so you can find it easy. But this side I pulled the, the, the two clips I didn't break off. On this trim, just preliminary, hey, this is what's up. Um, you have to start at the top. So you got to take this little center piece out. It slides over, pop it out, come up. Then you want to gently pry up um, with a nice plastic thing from the bottom. Break all these. Then you can take the other side off. When you go to take this next piece off, which you have to take the A-pillar off before you get the lower windshield trim, there's a screw down here. You got to take that screw off. And then you kind of got to like work it with a pick and a screwdriver. The top one is really easy to get to. So you can hold this up and reach down in there. And I think that that's going to be my method for the future. I'm going to get a really long, skinny, seemingly flexible rod that I can shove down in here. This radius goes like this, right? So I should be able to shove it down the inside of the trim and it stay up there and then pop all those clips off and then it'll come out. You don't, or it's really hard to get to this side of the clip, so you have to take it off from this side and then hook it off the windshield, which I'll make a better video um, specifically for putting your windshield trim on. So I'm gonna run into town, grab some parts from the parts store so I can trim some stuff up. The other thing that's wild is um, I had two spare radiators here, checked them both. Oh, I just threw a screw. Um, I checked them both and they're both leaking. So looks like both my spare radiators out of parts cars are junk and I'm gonna order a nice aluminum radiator for the rally car. So that's that. Here's all this trim off the car, which is ready to be. So you have your two A-pillar bits right there, the long lower trim piece right here, the two top of your windshield trim pieces here, and then there's some assorted plastic bits that go up underneath them. Um, this is what one of those clips look like. So this clip right here actually mounts like this. You can get these new, by the way. Um, and then also those little clips. And then you have this piece here, the super small piece that goes, that bridges the top. Now, you're gonna be like, well, what about the drip rail trim? Okay, the drip rail trim is this, all right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be putting it back on. Now how this trim works, and if you wanna remove it, it's, it rides right here across the top of the window. If you wanna take your trim off, all you need is a bottle opener, okay? A really simple bottle opener. And you're basically, just gonna pry up from the bottom and it'll roll off of that drip rail, okay? Now put them back on, do that in reverse. Super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead, you're gonna see, I'm gonna fix all this trim up, repaint it, you'll see it looking nice, and then uh, we'll get to putting that back in. I gotta get this radiator going back in here, and hopefully, should shipping this, that, and the other, I can get my new clips with the windshield in quick this week, that video will go up. Get the new radiator in this week, that video will go up, and I'm just gonna try to bust this thing out. And uh, I'm also, later today, which I'll put before and after shots in, I'm gonna detail the bottom of the car again, because as much as the people on the Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, voted to keep rallying the car and like tear it up, it's really dirty. <laughs> and and I'm gonna take pictures of it to sell it and I want it to look super nice. So I really don't wanna like go tear it up my yard again. <laughs> So I'm thinking about uh, what I may do instead is I'm going to do a little video. We'll probably take it and rip it up the street. Um, do some tarmac rally, right? Maybe go find somewhat of a gravel road to tear it up on. I, I know some pretty good ones around here. And uh, and that'll be the thing. Just keep it out of the mud, we'll say, because the mud, there was mud up in the bumper. There's, I mean, there's mud everywhere. So now that whoever buys it, it's a real rally car. We, we off-roaded it a bit. So let's uh, get to work cleaning the bottom. And we'll uh, keep this thing going. Enjoy. Beautiful before and after. All right, guys. Window trim. Every last bit of it. Stripped down to bare metal. Repainted with trim black. And it is looking fresh. Here's your sneak peek of the lower piece just sitting in here. And let me tell you, this stuff is going to look fantastic. Um, I'm beyond stoked with how this came out. Just want to sit up in here, like so. 
And we'll grab a little top piece here, just to give you a little sneak peek of the window trim. And I'm telling you guys, the window trim is going to make the car look like a million bucks. Stay. Oh, look at that. So we're going to go from like incomplete and not 100% perfect assembled car minus windshield wipers to complete assembled car looking fresh as heck. And yeah, I know my two wheel drive sticker is a little covered up by the trim, but slight oversight. It will be just fine. Two wheel drive, real wheel drive, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, that was the biggest hit, honestly. For me, was watching people come up to the rally car and they're like, oh, this thing's so sick. Da, 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 da. And then they'll be like, ah, real wheel drive. Got him. <laughs> Love it. All right, guys, I'm going to end it off there. I've got to get the aluminum radiator installed this week. I'm going to make a uh, nice transformation video cleaning the bottom of the car, which I'm about ready to start on. But I want to get this edited up for you. You can see there's still tons of mud and stuff up under there, even after I've washed it. And uh, get these wheels cleaned up inside and outside. And I think I noticed a small, like a brake line, brake fluid leak from this uh, passenger rear caliper. Just a tiny one. It had a little bit of a drip in the wheel. Um, and it looked like some of the paint was a little bubbly. So I got to I gotta address that. I'm not too stoked about that. I could have swore I had it all tidied up and tight. I never had a drip on the floor. So I don't know. It might be a new thing from just driving it. But with that, guys, I'm so stoked you guys got to see the rally car transform into what it is. And it's finally... The car that I've dreamed of having in my garage for so long, and uh, and I'm excited. I'm, I'm so excited that it looks like it does, and it legit looks like my like it's almost the, it. It is the dream R R X seven for me. I don't think it's any better than this one for me, really. Besides, like obviously more streetable and like. Anyways. Nothing really gets better than this. This has kind of been my, has been my dream RX-7 build for, you know, ever. So, well, maybe not ever, but for pretty much ever. I, I've, I've, I love the car. I love the way it looks. It just came out awesome. So, yeah, I'll quit gawking. And uh, I'm going to sit here and look at the car. And you guys are going to be done with the video. So, thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Keep it red. Dog! What are you doing? You sit. Nice to meet you. The viewers say hi. Did you jump? Oh, good job. Peace, guys.